What is up geeks, my name is Nick and welcome back to A to Z Geek. On today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to take a sub $100 router and turn it into a router with features only previously found on the more expensive models. Yeah. Okay guys, so here we are on the desktop. First things first, I wanna make sure that uh, everybody understands out there that, the, that uh, this can not only be done for just this model of router, but also many, many models of router. What we're actually gonna do today is we're gonna install a firmware called DDWRT. Uh, it's basically just kind of a firmware that overwrites the existing software that's on your router and allows your router to have functions that were only previously found on more expensive routers. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is determine what kind of router you have. I've decided for today's purpose, I'm gonna use one that a lot of people have. It's a very common router. It's called the Linksys E2500. Uh, it's super cheap. I think you can probably get them for 35, 45, maybe even $50 at Best Buy or Radio Shack or any electronic store of your choice. But they're very cheap. A lot of people have them and this is the reason kinda of why we're using it for today. I had one laying around that was stock um, and I wanted to just go ahead and show everyone how this works. So first thing you need to do is flip over the back of your router and take a look at it and make sure that the model number on there is one that's compatible with DDWRT. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's assume that uh, you're using the same router as me, Linksys 20, E2500. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go to the uh, DDWRT uh, website and the first web page that you come to, and I will, I will, I'll leave the link to this in the description below, the first link that you're gonna come to is the front page here. All you're gonna wanna do is click on the router database. So click on that, let it load. Um, just for posterity's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I am on a stock Linksys unlocked network. It's, nothing's ever been tweaked with it. It's exactly how it would be if you just pulled it out of the box. Um, so let's assume you've clicked on the router database. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and type in your model number. Uh, you don't really need to worry about the Linksys part. It'll pick that up on its own, but the model number is important. So we're gonna type in E2500 and we're gonna wait for it to load there and it'll come up and it'll tell you right here whether it's supported. It's very important that if it doesn't say yes on this that you don't attempt this. You will brick your router, you will ruin it and uh, unfortunately the manufacturers of the router won't help you there. They're not gonna help you out. So make sure that it does say supported on it. That is very important. Um, this can be done on many routers. You can also do this on a more expensive router and make it even better. So it really just depends on what your purpose is. There's really two main reasons why you do this. One, because a lot of people wanna take their cheap routers with crappy range and increase the range. Uh, the other one is to turn a router that you already have, an existing older router, um, say like the old classic, like a WRT54G, uh, and turn it into a repeater. Uh, what a repeater does is extends your wireless uh, connection from one room to uh, you know a much broader area, a much bigger range. So this is what I use it for primarily, but today what I'm gonna show you how to do is install it and then uh, I think I'm also gonna show you how to, uh, how, to, how to put a VPN on there. And what a VPN does, that stands for Virtual Private Network, is it makes it so that you can go ahead and uh, if you live in a different country, such as I do, Mexico or uh, parts of Europe or something where there's internet services that are blocked, such as YouTube or Hulu, Netflix, uh, that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna show you how to install uh, a service so that you can unblock those, so that you can watch those anywhere in the world. So, uh, where we're at now is we've, uh, we've typed in the E2500, it's come up, it show us that it's uh, supported, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on that, and that's gonna take us to the main, to the, to the main page. Um, what we're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and download one of the versions. Um, it's best for you to do your own research on their forums and make sure that you figure out one that's good for your system. Um, in this case, uh, it seems like all these versions here are compatible, but uh, I'm not. I, I'm not really concerned with having like you know, uh, you know, extra, extra, extra features. So I'm going to go ahead and just download the one that I know works, um, and that's going to be the. K26 NV60 Mega. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and download that one. And that's gonna prompt you for a download. Hit save file. Save that on your desktop or somewhere else where you know where you can find it. And uh, let it download. As soon as that's done, I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so we're back here and uh, we have downloaded our file here onto the desktop. So next, next thing we're gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna show you that everything is indeed stock. So here is the uh, basic setup when I log into it. Uh, um, pretty much everyone's gonna have the same address here. It's gonna be 192.168.1.1. And it's gonna take you to your login page. You'll have to check with your manufacturer to figure out what the uh, what the default password and login is for your router. But once you have that, you should be able to get into your basic settings. So here we are here. Everything is default exactly as it would be if you pulled it out of the box for the first time. Uh, as I said before, E2500, nothing has been changed. I haven't changed anything. Basically, I plugged it into the back of my modem and it's getting an internet connection. So just for you to verify that this is indeed a, a locked out uh, system and that I'm not like you know, some for some reason trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go to a site that's uh, pretty common for not letting people uh, from other countries in, and that is Pandora.com. Oops. And as it loads, you'll see, dear Pandora visitor, we're deeply, deeply sorry to say that due to the license constraints, we are no longer uh, allowed to access to Pandora for listeners located outside of the U.S. So as you can see, uh, we believe that you are in Mexico and your IP address is blah, 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 blah. Um, so as you can see, I am 100% locked out of the system. So... Uh, currently cannot use this. Um, now, I should warn you guys beforehand that once we do all of this, it's not free. The service to unlock or get a VPN, um, there are free services out there, I believe, but they're, they're quite difficult to set up, and I'm not going to go into that today. So um, the, the cost is minimal compared to what you know, you're getting for it. So you know, I think for my service, uh, I pay $6 a month which is less than a, a streaming uh, for Netflix fee. So, um, and, and I have a couple of, me and a couple of friends share the streaming for Netflix account, so we don't really have to all pay the same amount. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and install the DDWRT. So you're gonna go to your main, your, your main setup page, log into your system and you're gonna to navigate to the administration. Now, even if you've got a different router, almost all routers have the administration tab. Um, so for me, it's telling me that I'm not logged in anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in the default password for this. Go to administration. And you're gonna look for the firmware upgrade tab. So click on that. And then remember that file that we downloaded earlier today? This is when that comes into play. So you're going to hit the Browse button, navigate to where you saved it. If it's a .bin file, keep it .bin. There's no reason to change it. And then hit Open. And then click on Start Upgrade. And that's it. So I will be right back when the upgrade is finished. What's up, guys? I am back. And I just wanted to let you know that if you did receive a fail, in other words, it said that the update failed. You need to go ahead and download the uh, correct firmware. So if the one that I suggested to download did not work for you, what you need to do is download this first one. Um, that's the E25V1 firmware web flash image. That one uh, should work for everyone. And these should be subsequent upgrades. I actually forgot that uh, my router has already been previously set up with this. So I've already kind of pre -fl I guess you could consider this like a pre-flash and the rest of them are upgrades that add added features. If you wanna know what kind of features they add, I recommend you read the DDWRT wiki, which is on the top of the page here I have highlighted. I will leave links to these in, all, in the description for everything that I'm doing. So you should be able to find this no problem. So go ahead and download this one and get it installed. And if you've got it installed, it should, be it should take you to this page here, which is the main page. Uh, it might look a little bit different. You might just have this top row here and then when you click on setup, it'll prompt you for the password. Uh, I believe that the default password is uh, username uh, root and password password. So username root password is password. If that doesn't work for you, go ahead and check DDWRT's website for the default password, but I believe that is the default for uh, any new installations. So 
if you did it right, you'll be in, you'll end up here. And as you can see, it's pretty much similar to the to what you would expect on the Linksys, but a little bit more modern. A couple of things have changed. Now, if you read the wiki, the wiki will tell you all kinds of things that you can change. I'm not going to go through today on how to change everything. Maybe I can do that in a previous video if you guys find it interesting. But today, I just want to show you how to install this software and how to install a VPN. Today what we're going to do for the VPN is I'm going to go ahead and install it in the router. The added benefit of this is that anyone who visits your house, any device that you connect to your router will automatically be, uh, will automatically work for the services that you're trying to get the VPN to unblock, i.e. YouTube, uh, Hulu, uh, Netflix, uh, Pandora, any of those. And you will, uh, you don't have to use the individual programs. Now the, 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 the service that I uh, subscribe to is called Unblock Us. There's uh, hundreds of them out there, and you can pick which one works best for you. I found that Unblock Us uh, is way easier to set up. It just works. It's simple. You don't have to mess around with all kinds of settings and stuff. I've tried a few other services, and to be honest, they were just such a big pain in the ass that it, it wasn't worth it to me. So I have used Unblock Us, and it works great. It is not free, however. Uh, I believe I pay $6 a month or $4 a month or something like that. It's very, very cheap. It's totally worth it. And one of the added benefits is you can do what's called region hopping on Netflix. What this means is uh, there are places such as Canada or the UK who have different, um, diff different offerings of movies. Canada by far is the best, in my opinion. And what this service allows you to do is with a couple of clicks, you can change the region that Netflix sees that you're in. In other words, you can watch the content from other countries without having to you know, do any complicated settings. Just a couple of clicks, reload it, and you're good to go. So if this is installed and everything is working properly, the next step is for us to install the VPN. So let's just go to the main VPN page here. Um, and that's where we are here. So as you can see, I'm already signed in. Um, but as you can see here, these things should all be green. They're not green, which means that my device is not configured correctly. So the next step is for us to go ahead and configure that. Um, I should also let you know that if, if, if you're not sure which one to try, I recommend just trying this one. It, they have a seven day free trial. It's t completely unlocked for seven days. So you'll, you'll have an entire uh, seven days to kind of evaluate what you think of it and how you think it works and see if it's something that you want to pay for. Um, if you rather just take my word for it, um, I, you know, it's a great service. I've never had any problems with it. It works perfect every time. The, one of the benefits of this is that it's a little bit different in the systems that, uh, that do VPN, like say, uh, Ola or something like that, where they, they, they use a proxy. So they kind of shoot you through a, a different server in the United States or actually they just shoot the website through a different server in the US and then it's delivered to you in Mexico. And this can add lots of slowdowns. What this service does is it actually just, um, it circumvents the, the, the country check for the specific, uh, for the specific uh, thing that you're trying to use, i.e. Pandora or YouTube or Netflix or something like that. So when you're surfing the, the web normally, you'll notice that it's still saying you're in Mexico and that's okay. There's no, or, or whatever country you live in. And that's okay, it doesn't affect anything, but when you go to Hulu or Netflix or BBC or Pandora or one of those services, it will circumvent the country check and allowing you to watch content that's only available to people in the United States or that particular country. So let's just assume that you've signed up for it, everything is good to go, and you're at this page here. Your account is active, but your device isn't configured and you are not ready to go yet. So what you're gonna do is instead of clicking the set it up here, you're gonna go to the top here and click on how to set it up. And we're gonna, we're gonna do this a different way um, because, uh, because they, they actually don't, they, while they do support it, they don't uh, have the instructions on how to set it up on DDWRT here. I just wanna show you how to navigate it here. So if you decided that, and, and I should note that you don't have to have DDWRT installed for this to function. You can just use the stock the stock router as it is, and you don't have to worry about it. So as you can see, if you didn't install it and you're just following along for the VPN instructions, it'll say Linksys by Cisco. You just go to this website, click on this link, and you'll see here that uh, it'll tell you exactly how to set it up. 
As you can see below though, it will say, if you're running DDWRT firmware, please look at our known issue article, which means that they do support it, they just don't uh, have the instructions kind of right out there. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and search this here. And I'll leave the link to this in the description. So it'll be the first one, setting up your DDWRT router with unblock us. So we're just gonna follow the steps here. You're gonna enter your IP address, which we've already done. So you're already at your, your, your main thing here. And you're gonna go to your setup tab, which you should be clicked on by default setup. And we're gonna go and type in our primary DNS numbers. So in this case, it's 208.122.23.23, and then 208.122.23.22. So go ahead and type those in, and I'll be right back when I'm done with mine. All right, guys, so we're back, and uh, we've went ahead and uh, in inserted the static DNS numbers one and two. And uh, if you're not sure where they go, this is exactly where they go right here. Just uh, number one goes right here, number two goes right here. And so the next step that you're gonna do is you're gonna go and uh, click Apply Settings. So you're gonna go down to the bottom here and click on Apply Settings. You just have to wait for a few minutes for that to happen and now we're already back. The next thing you're gonna do is go to uh, the Services, and Services Management, DNS Mask, additional DNS mask options, and enter the following text box. Now, this is where you could get screwed up. So it does say right here uh, in quotations what you, need to, what you need to put, but you do need to put it in there without quotations. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you add those quotations, it will completely screw you up, and you won't be able to fig figure out how come you can't connect to the device. You'll have to reset it and, and then do the whole process over again. So make sure that you copy and paste this without the quotations or period. And it just says strict dash order. So go to your services, which is, uh, uh, which, which is gonna be this one here, the third one here. And then uh, make sure you're on services, which you should be by default. And then look for your DNS mask and then look for additional DNS mask options. And then all you're gonna do is click in there, paste your strict order, hit apply settings, and that should be it. So all you're gonna do from then on is you're just gonna go ahead and restart your router. You do wanna make sure you restart your router because it's important. You should be able to do that with the little button down here. So just go ahead and click that, and I'll be right back as soon as that's finished rebooting. All right guys, so we're back and We've gone ahead and uh, restarted Pandora here, and as you can see, it's logged us in. I'm gonna go ahead and type it in one more time, just so you can see, everything should be good. Um, it did. It, it would have uh, taken you back to this, but you can go ahead and close that now. There's no reason for us to have it again. Um, as you can hear, it's now playing music. So that's playing what's on, on the screen here. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. That's kind of how you install it. I'm gonna show you one more thing just as an extra bonus. But if you go to the unblock us and you go to the main site, you should now see that all of these bottom things here are green. So if they are all green, then you've set up everything correctly. And that's all you really need to do. So as a bonus, in order for you to change the region for Netflix, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click this little button here and you're gonna select which one uh, you want to use and then, uh, and then it will reset it for you. So just click on that one, hit update, and you'll be good to go. All right guys, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button so that I can continue to make videos like this. If you have any comments or complaints or concerns, you can leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to respond to them. So don't forget to come back next week for another video and I will see you guys next time.